Hello and good morning. Everyone, you have one more day to study for this Living Environment Regents, which is happening tomorrow. Here is my online class that I specially made for you that you can finish this between two to four hours. There's still enough time. Um, it is still available for purchase. You get the characteristics of life, cells, biochemistry, human body systems, the Making Connections Lab, and all the other labs, genetics, evolution, ecology. But for now, let's go ahead and review a question with me. Okay, so one of the one of the things that the Living Environment Regents wants you to know is about invas invasive species and how they affect their environment. So let's go ahead and read together. Let's do this together. Lionfish are native to the Indian and Pacific Oceans. They have recently been found along the southeast coast of the U.S., the Caribbean, and in parts of the Gulf of Mexico. Experts speculate that the lionfish invasion was caused by people dumping unwanted lionfish into the Atlantic Ocean from home aquariums. Lionfish have venomous spines and feed on small crustaceans, and many fish, including the young of important commercial fish species such as snapper and grouper. The current invasion of lionfish most likely started with the dumping of about 12 fish. Today, there are thousands of them over the over a wide area. Okay, so we have this lionfish here that someone had as a pet, and then they were like, I don't want this fish anymore. I don't want to toss it down the toilet, so I'm going to toss it in the ocean. So that that's not good because then that person created an invasive species, a species that is not native to the area. So let's see their questions. So remember, these questions repeat themselves over and over again in different ways in the test. And also something that I want to emphasize over and over again that I tell my students, never, ever leave blanks. Always answer the questions. Always answer the questions. Just try your best, and I promise you that you're going to get the point if it's scientifically accurate. So I put the answers from the answer key um, that you can, of course, find online. But let's go ahead and read the first question about this invasive species that someone dumped in the ocean and didn't want as a pet anymore. State one specific reason why these invasive fish have been able to rapidly increase their population and range over the last 20 years. The reason why invasive species can survive is because number one reason, or the reason that we always teach you guys, is that they don't have any predators. They're not from the area, so they don't have any predators. They don't have any competition, but there are other things you can say. Let's take a look what those other reasons are. So as I said, there are no natural predators in this area, so they don't have anyone, especially with those spines, like they have a protection, uh, they have natural swords, so they have protection, they don't have predators. The lionfish can outcompete the native species for the food. So this is probably a big dog that came through and is like, back up, I'm going to eat all the food. They can eat a large variety of food that is found in the area. So they can say, all right, you can eat that and I can eat this thing over here. No worries. I can eat anything. I'm versatile. They were adapted to a variety of environments. So they were able to adapt. You can say they were able to adapt to the change of environment for them. Natural selection, by the way, just saying. Lionfish may have reproductive rates that are greater than other fish. So, e so even if they are competing with other fish, they... Um, they were good at uh, reproducing. Their reproductive rate was successful. All right, let's take a look at the next question. Explain why the amount of genetic diversity within the invasive lionfish population would be expected to be low. Because it was only 12 of them. You only had 12 of the lionfish in a mass huge ocean that they were tossed. So, I mean, as long as they group together and reproduce together, and that they were male and female, or they were able to reproduce, then, you know, but, but you know, they were, they can't have genetic diversity because it was only 12 of them. Genetic diversity is them having variation between their D DNA. They're different from each other. But let's see what you could have answered based on the answer key. Remember, I want you to look at this word that they say, that they give to teachers, limited to, 
limited to means yeah this is i'm sorry not limited to yeah these are the answers but it's not limited to this you can answer anything else that makes sense scientific sense which is why i always say never leave blanks okay the original okay so here's the question allow one credit acceptable responses include but are not limited to so again why explain why the amount of genetic diversity within an invasive species population would be expected to be quite low so let's see what the answer key has the original population was small only 12 fish so the amount of variation would be low as we said before next only a dozen or so released lionfish started the whole population. They probably did not have much variation in their genes. Okay, simple, simple. Last question about the invasive species. State two ways invasive species can disrupt the ecosystem. Man, I mean, fish have their own way of disrupting, but think of the ways that bugs in New York, in New York have invaded our space, or even if you don't live in, in New York, but... All these bugs that we find in the summertime, they were like, what the heck are those? They're most likely invasive species. So allow one credit, acceptable responses include, but are not limited to. So let's say what the answer could be. The original population was small. So again, you can even repeat the question as long as it makes sense. It was 12. So the amount of variation would be low. Only a dozen or so released lionfish started the whole population. They probably did not have much variation in their genes. So again, with it only being 12. All right. Good luck on the test tomorrow. Remember, you have my class. You can finish this within two to three hours. I made it specifically for crunch time. Buy it now. Buy it now. Good luck tomorrow.